Do you believe in destiny? I once read a story of a merchant in Baghdad who sent his servant to market to buy provisions, and in a little while the servant came back white and trembling, and told his master that when he was in the marketplace he was jostled in the crowd, and when he turned he saw that it was death that had jostled him, and death glared at him and made a threatening gesture. Terrified, the servant begged his master to lend him his horse so he could ride away from Baghdad to Samara and avoid his fate. For in Samara, death would not find him. The merchant lent him his horse and the servant rode away in the direction of Samara as fast as the horse could take him. Then, the merchant went down to the marketplace where he saw Death standing in the crowd, and he walked up to Death and asked why he had made a threatening gesture to his servant when he saw him that morning. But Death replied that it was not a threatening gesture, but a reaction of surprise. Death explained that he was astonished to see the servant in Baghdad, for he had an appointment with him that night in Samara. Destiny? I, too, kept an appointment with destiny. My name is William Murdoch, first officer on RMS Titanic, and my fate was set 5,000 years ago in the Greenland Glacier in the form of an iceberg that began its long, slow, relentless journey across the millennia to our fateful meeting in the North Atlantic on the night of April 14, 1912. I was the officer of the watch that night, and I gave the order that accidentally steered the Titanic into the iceberg. So, at 11.40 p.m., I kept my appointment in Samara. So now come with me to the cold North Sea, where the velvet night pours its stars into the ocean, scattering them across its surface, black as onyx, still as glass, deep as eternity, and in the eternal deep, mystery. Down, down, down to the frozen deep Where the wreckage of a dream lays at anchor in the starless dark And where a captain's frozen eyes stare into eternity Waiting upon the dark harbor master of the night To pilot him safely into port With his cargo of lost souls From Stoke on Trent and the pottery, I followed the river down to the sea, but the potter's wheel was not for me. Dreams of adventure filled my head, dreams too big for a potter's shed, and it's a grand of the life I've led And I'll steer a course through hell if I must To the ship and I finally rust And there's not a trace left of either of us Here at the helm is where I'll be Steering the ship through eternity to bring them all home safe 
from the sea. Swallowed up 